Right everyone, Wack Collector here. Right, I've got a new review for you. So, this is a Ganzo Firebird knife I got recently, and it is the FH11 or FH11 uh, BK, which is the black version. So, they do this version, which is the black one with G10, they do a green G10 version, and then they do a fiberglass, uh, not fiberglass, um, carbon fiber uh, version. So it's a standard size uh, to large, not really large, but you know, it's certainly not a small knife, with a flipper and a liner lock. So you see there, flips out absolutely lovely. It's got ball bearing washers in it, so the action on this is really, really smooth. Very nice shape overall to this as well, I think. I got this because, I don't know why, the handle resembles a OTF to me, and uh, I just like the look of that, I like the look of that handle, it's just a nice, I don't know what it is, it's a nice sort of modern look to it. So, it's G10 scales, as I mentioned, it's got a nice sort of grain going along it, very comfortable, you can see the Firebird logo there. The screws are Torx heads, screws or hex head screws, so got your lanyard, there's a lanyard pillar on this one, so they have a lanyard hole. And that is a G10 spacer as far as I'm aware. And these scales are concave, so you can see the nice profile to them. So overall the scales are very nice. It's got steel liners that are hidden, they're recessed into the G10, so you can't actually see them unless you actually try and look. I think that gives it a really nice effect. So it looks like just a G10 handle, but it's not, it is steel liners in there. So there's the liner lock with the ball detent, you can see there. <clears throat> the ball tent also keeps the knife closed. So this won't just open, won't flick open, but it's extremely smooth when you um, flip it out. So the blade there I think looks like a very slight drop point. It's got a nice flat grind by the looks of it, secondary bevel. Came very sharp. So there's the Firebird logo and there's the rest of the information there. D2 steel as well, so very good steel for a folding knife. Um, very nice shaped blade I think, I don't know about you but that's partly what drew me to this. I like that handle shape, I also like that blade shape, very nice. Got a bit of jimping there, and some jimping on the backspacer. Lock works very good still got plenty to move over the years but does lock up very well flips out absolutely lovely barely have to touch it that's a this is a sort of aggressive flip this is a light flip but there's your um pivot screw there the hex head, um, I think it's hex head or torx head, whichever one it is, you know which one. The one it normally is on these kind of knives anyway. Yeah, overall very nice. The the um, pocket clip is sing single position, tip up only. I don't know how many people that would bother. Doesn't bother me personally. I take most of my clips off anyway. But that is removable, but that's the only place it can go. So you can't put it either side or up and down. But whether that bothers you or not, I don't know. Yeah. Overall, I'm very happy with this. I think it's really nice. There's no blade play at all. The blade is perfectly centered. Came very sharp as well. Fit and finish is really nice. Yeah. I think it's a very, very good knife, personally. So the dimensions to this are 20.5 centimeters open, 11.7 centimeters closed, 8.7 centimeter blade, 
2.5 wide and a 2mm blade in D2 steel. And the price of this is £27.44p. So slightly more than your average Ganzos, but well worth it because you have got an upgrade on this. Most of the standard Ganzos are around about 15 quid, 10 15 quid. Now, this is 27, but you get D2 steel, those um, ball bearing washers, uh, recessed G10 scales with the hidden liners. So, this certainly does have upgrades over the other ones and would be worth the £27, I think. Yeah, really, really nice. You saw the demos, cuts really well. It's that sharp straight out of the box. I've not touched this at all. And very nice looking, I think. I really like the look of that. Sort of has a bit of a Japanese look to me as well, I think. Don't know if you'd agree with me there. I don't know if it's that grind or not or something, but there's something about that. Flipper gives you a nice slight guard there. Definitely a decent sized usable blade as well. But yeah... Overall, very nice, really well made, works really well, looks really nice as well. So there it is, that's the Ganzo Firebird FH11BK, price is £27.44p, there'll be a link below in the description if you want this, and that's an affiliate link, so if you use that link, I'll get a percentage of what you spend at no cost to you. Uh, but you can support my channel that way. And if I can, I'll add some discounts and stuff like that. And any other information I may not have mentioned will be in that uh, on that link as well. And possibly in the description. Yeah. If you're after one of these, certainly worth getting. And they're certainly worth the £27 for the features you get on this. Right. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you later. Before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.